failed former President Donald Trump's criminal nightmare in Georgia is looking very real, writes Greg Walters for Vice. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis says decisions are imminent in her investigation of Trump's attempt to reverse his 2020 defeat in Georgia. Remember, this is the one where Trump said, I need 11,000 votes. Give me a break. Um, Walters writes, where is Trump's most pressing criminal investigation? There's little doubt now it is in Georgia. It is in Georgia. Trump may now be just weeks or even days away from learning whether he will be criminally charged for election meddling in the state, according to comments made by the local prosecutor. That prosecutor is D.A. Fonnie Willis, who said those decisions are imminent and that uh, the report on what the grand jury found should stay secret for now in order to protect the integrity of future prosecutions of multiple people. Quote, we are asking that the report not be released because you having seen the rep that report, decisions are imminent. We have to be mindful of protecting future defendants rights. Do I believe Trump is going to be indicted in Georgia? Well, I will tell you in a moment, I do want to mention that our sponsor for this segment is Masterworks. It's been an up and down year for investors, to say the least. Retail investors down 30 percent last year. The typical 60 40 portfolio down 15 to 25 percent. It's rough. It has been rough. Uh, I believe that an expansion of portfolios to include alternative assets is interesting. Many of these alternative assets outperform traditional assets. In 2022, blue chip art had a record breaking year, and it wasn't just last year. Contemporary art has actually outperformed the S&P 500 total return for the past 26 years. And art is lowly correlated to stocks and bonds, which means even if stocks and bonds are down, art can do OK. If you want to get in, Masterworks is the place to do it. They sold nine paintings last year, all at a profit. The last three sales returned 10, 13 and 35 percent net. Masterworks acquires blue chip art by world renowned artists like Picasso, Banksy, Warhol. They qualify the paintings with the SEC, which I've linked below, and you can just invest a fraction of each painting. And if Masterworks sells it at a profit, you get a slice of that return. There's a waiting list to sign up. You can skip the line at masterworks.art slash Pacman. You can use the link down below. Will Trump be indicted in the state of Georgia? You know, I hate that this is where we are. But if I had to bet, I don't think he's getting indicted. I hope Trump gets indicted. I believe he should be indicted based on the facts and the evidence. But I don't know that anyone has the willingness, audacity, commitment to the hell that will rain down upon them and likely their families if they are the first to indict Trump. I hope that I'm wrong. I hope that Fonnie Willis does it and that we learn about it today, tomorrow, next week, sooner, sooner, the better. But if I were a betting man and I'm not, I don't know that we're going to see that happen. And there are many places where Trump could get indicted. There's the federal investigation that was referred to the DOJ by the January 6th committee. There is the Southern District of New York investigation. There is the Georgia investigation. I believe you can make the legal case that indictment is justified in all three and probably more. Trump also facing defamation suits and all sorts of things. But I worry and I really hope that I'm wrong, that nobody is going to go and do it. Now, if Trump does get indicted, what does it do to his 2024 campaign? In some strange way, it may give Trump an out from a campaign that maybe is doomed to fail. I don't know right now whether Trump is likely to be the Republican nominee or not. There are polls that look fine, polls that look problematic, struggles that Trump is having to find leaders, for example, in South Carolina willing to be up on the stage with him. I don't know where it's going to go, but there is speculation that Trump will want a way out if it doesn't seem like things are looking good by the start of 2024. One way out would be I've got a health issue. The other possible way out would be I am so encumbered by these witch hunt indictments of me that I have no choice but to abandon the campaign and focus fully and solely on my defense. 
in some strange way, it may end up giving Trump an out from an election he could ultimately lose. But it's too early to say for sure. For now, we remain on indictment watch from the DOJ, from the Southern District of New York and, of course, from Georgia as well.